Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another advent calendar for you today. This is the Valespa 12 day advent calendar. It retails for $75 and it is a Sephora exclusive. I wanted to get this video up for you before the Sephora sale starts. So depending on your tier, you might be able to get it for an additional 10 or 15 or 20% off, which makes it an even better value in my opinion. This was a surprise purchase for me. I got this last year, just kind of on a whim and I really liked it. It was one of my favorites. I used all the candles. It was a great way to try out all the different scents that they had to offer. And so I was excited to see that they offered it again this year. But let's go ahead and dive in. So again, it is a 12 day advent calendar. What I liked about this is that each day, even though it's not refillable, which is fine, each day tells you the notes of the calendar on the actual door. So let's go ahead and slide this out here to look close. And then that's the back. This is just a plastic sleeve that slides out. If you love candles, you would definitely like this one. Valespa candles are very fragrant, but they are not as expensive as, you know, for example, Diptyque or Nest candles. They are a lot more affordably priced in my opinion. So here it is up close. I think they even did something different because if I remember from last year's video, the individual doors were numbered obviously, but they didn't have the different illustrations. So I wonder if they actually hint at what the day would contain. So that's a cute little change. The package is also really iridescent and really pretty. Okay, starting with day one, we have sparkling cuvee. Oh my gosh, it matches my nails. <laughs> For those of you who ask about my nails, I used to use this iridescent nail polish, but lately I've been using this unicorn chrome finish. So it's like a finish powder that you buff into the nails and I just love it. So this is sparkling cuvee. I looked it up and cuvee means tank. So it tells you here, sparkling cuvee. The notes are sparkling wine, pomelo, woody oak, and rose petals. Pomelo is, if you're not familiar, it looks like a grapefruit. It is a huge citrus fruit. It's not as tart as grapefruit, it's a little sweeter. I actually love grapefruit. That's one of my favorite fragrances, fragrance notes. It's a white wax. Oh, very citrusy. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. <laughs> this is described as a fresh citrus candle with notes of pomelo, sparkling wine, and woody oak. It is from the fresh fragrance family. Scent type is fresh citrus and fruits, keynotes, pomelo, sparkling wine woody oak. All right, I have something special to show you guys. I picked up recently because I've just been loving my candles. I got it because, you know, you get these candles that are so expensive. You want the fragrance to last long. Candles are meant to be burned, but you don't want to like waste it, quote unquote. I got this candle warmer. So it has this marble base. It comes in different colors. I got this from Amazon. This is not sponsored. <laughs> I ordered this myself. I ordered this because it kind of goes with my decor here in my room but it comes in other colors. I got it with the yellow gold. And then you have this lamp here. It has this adjustable timer thing. You can adjust the brightness. You can make it super bright and you can adjust the length. You can set it on a timer. And then I just have been putting my candles here and it melts it, but in such a way that it releases the fragrance, but it doesn't melt the candle down. And then it just keeps going like forever. I don't know what it is. I don't know what kind of science they use, but they just last for so long. And then eventually when you do want to burn the candle, you know, then it goes away. But this just melts the wax. So the scent dissipates into the air. And then when you turn it off, it, you know, solidifies again. And then you just have it forever if you want. So I've been using this. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. But for now, this is what the candle looks like. And then I'll give you an up close. We'll leave this warming in the meantime. Okay, moving on to day two. So we have, again, one of my favorite little fruity scents. This is the Panjor lychee. And up here, it tells you the notes again. So Panjor lychee, we have lychee, cassis, juicy Asian pear. So this smells very juicy. I smell the lychee, I smell the pear. In the description, it says, refresh your space with this mouth-watering medley of lush lychee, crisp cassis, fresh melon, an Asian pear, a daily serving from this juicy garden harvest, revitalizes the ambiance of any room. This would be great in a kitchen. It's just very bright and fresh. Great summer scent. I don't really subscribe to scent seasons for candles. I burn all different candles all year round, but I do prefer like Christmas tree scents <laughs> to be around Christmas. And also like apple cidery scents should be fall. Okay, I guess I just contradicted myself. So far, the colors of the candles do resemble the doors. So I guess this one will be an orange color. And yes, okay, we have spiced pumpkin latte. This is another fall favorite, spiced pumpkin latte. All right, so a little switcheroo. It looks like day three was supposed to contain goji taraco orange, which has goji berry, ripe mango, taraco orange. But instead we have this spice pumpkin latte. I do have the notes for you here. Spice pumpkin latte is a warm and spicy 
fragrance family. The scent type is warm and sweet gourmands. And the keynotes are kombucha pumpkin, coconut milk, and winter spices. So you're very much getting that spiced chai latte, pumpkin spice latte kind of a fall vibe scent. I feel like, I don't know who packed this. Maybe they switched the candles because this is also orange. So I feel like this might be the orange Taraco that was supposed to be for day three. All right, day four is orange and yes okay so they just switched it that's okay this is the goji taraco orange which again we have goji berry ripe mango taraco orange notes day four was supposed to be spiced pumpkin latte so just a little switch this is very citrusy i guess it's more like a blood orange this kind of smells like grapefruit to me very fruity like an earthy fruity not like a sugary sweet citrus very nice candle color also day five it's like an amber color. Okay. <laughs> so day five is Baltic Amber. So here we have the scent notes for Baltic Amber are Amber Resin, Sandalwood, and Vanilla Orchid. I remember when I unboxed this last year and I was like, what does Baltic and Amber have to do like with anything? I thought Baltic, you know, you think of the Baltic Sea because when I initially saw this, I thought, okay, Baltic Sea, this is going to be like an aquatic marine type fragrance, but it smells more like amber, like Dior's Amber Nui. But many of you guys in the comments pointed out that the Baltic region and the trees there are known for their amber resin and amber sap in the trees. So I was like, okay, great. Good to know. I did not know that. Very nice. This really smells like Dior Amber Nui. <laughs> so very nice warm fragrance. This is part of the earthy and woody family. The scent type is warm woods. And that's why the keynotes then are, you have the vanilla orchid, sandalwood and amber resin. So very nice earthy scent. Day six we have, okay, this is the frosted glass. This is the gilt, pomander, and hinoki. And the notes here are gilded holly berries, cardamom, and Japanese hinoki. This is a limited edition fragrance. It is described as warm and spicy with cool spices. The keynotes, holly berry, pomander, spice, and hinoki. Hinoki means cypress, so like cypress trees, so very woody. Day seven is green. For day seven, we have the French Cade Lavender, and this is one of their most popular fragrances. They offer this scent in every single candle size, from the small votive to the huge, like the huge candles with the three wicks. They have this in the reed diffuser, which they have great reed diffusers. We have the notes here for French Cade Lavender. It's French Cade Wood, Verbena Bulgarian Lavender. This is part of the earthy and woody citrus fragrance family. And what's great about this scent is, I don't know if they're gonna do it this year, but last year Sephora offered this candle advent calendar and it was so cool. You got these, you know, I think it was like five candles in this votive size. And then just like their fragrance sampler sets, you got a certificate to redeem for a full size. I actually got a couple of those sets. And for one of the sets, I traded my voucher in for a full size of the French Cade Lavender. If it's available in the larger size, you can repurpose the jar. It comes in a big glass jar and it has a lid, like a reusable lid. So if you like the color, you can repurpose this, use it in your bathroom as decor and storage. Anyway, French Cade Lavender, very popular fragrance scent. Day eight is another green candle. And we have white cypress. I love their cypress woody oaky scents. These I think are just neutral enough that you can put them anywhere in your home. They're great for guys. These make great housewarming presents. The notes here are white cypress freshly snapped and trimmed. It literally just smells like a fresh Christmas tree like you went Christmas tree shopping. I actually have another white cypress votive so it looks like they made it a little different. I don't remember if I got this as a free gift with purchase. I don't think this was the one that I opened up in last year's advent calendar because I'm pretty sure I went through all of them. So I must have gotten this in something else. <laughs> but you can see it's a little different. This is a little bigger, right? The votives that come in this advent calendar are 1.25 ounce or 35 grams. And this one is one ounce. So yeah, this is a little bigger. I don't know if this is what came in last year's advent calendar, to be honest. I think this was a free gift with something else. This smells very fresh, freshly cut cypress trees. And we have another kind of a dark green. Ooh, oh, okay. It's, I guess it's supposed to be black. This one is vanilla fireside. It smells so good. I love these smoky ones, like smoky fireside chat candles. So the notes for vanilla fireside are toasted vanilla, burning cedar and marshmallow sap. So yeah, it's like you are toasting marshmallows in front of a fire. I think the closest 
fragrance for diptyque. I have this right here. These are the Faux de Bois. This, by the way, are the diptyque carousels. They offer them every year. This just smells like a straight up fire. <laughs> this one is more of a warm baking vanilla sweet gourmand fire. So if you like this, you would like this one. 10. We have Tahitian coconut vanilla. The notes are described as Tahitian vanilla bean, coconut milk, and white peach nectar. This smells like a tropical vacation. If you like Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, that's what this smells like. It's so good. Mm, very summery. Day 11, we're almost near the end. Okay, day 11 is the Frosted Holly Berry. The notes are Sugared Rose, Holly Berry, Wild Blackberry, and Moss. So another like woody, oaky fragrance. I feel like this is more for Christmas time. It smells like frosted berries. I don't know. <laughs> How else to describe it? Frosted Holly Berry it is a very accurate name. Fragrance family is earthy and woody. Scent type earthy, green, and herbs. Keynotes are red mandarin, wild blackberry, and rose. So you do get that berry, like dark berry scent, but almost minty, I guess. So gets you in the Christmas spirit. And it's got that same kind of shiny gilded jar, similar to the gilt pomander and hinoki. And finishing up day 12, the final day. Not a lot of fanfare, but that's okay. We have Forbidden Fig, Ripened Fig, Velvety Musk, Midnight Rose, and Fig Leaf. Now I have to do a comparison with last year's because I do recall a lot of these same fragrances. I don't know if they released any like new ones. So they have kind of their tried and true faves, which is okay. So we have Forbidden Fig for the final day 12. This is part of the floral fragrance family. It's a fruity floral. Keynotes are Sicilian Mandarin, Ripened Fig, and velvety musk. Kind of like a darker citrus, if that makes sense. Like a very tart fig. I don't know if I get the musk. Yeah, I guess it's kind of musky. Okay, so kind of like a citrus fragrance. So kind of like a florally citrus fragrance that's a little more masculine, I guess. That is the day 12. With that, those are all 12 days of the 12 day Valespa advent calendar. So here are all the candles all lined up except for this one, which is right here. And you can see that it is pretty much melted all the way through. I really like this candle warmer, by the way. I definitely recommend this. It's a great light source also. It gives a little warmth, but not really. It mostly really just melts the candle and gets that scent lingering without burning the wick. So let me turn this off so you can see what it looks like. And that's it. So you can see here the difference with the candles. I've put a new one so you see what it looks like. So there's a unmelted wax candle. And this is it after sitting in the candle warmer for about 15 minutes. Nicely melted. As long as you keep the candle straight, the wick will stay upright. Should be okay to burn. I haven't had any problems burning candles after they have been warmed in my little candle warmer. If you're a fan of candles, I definitely recommend getting a candle warmer. So that is the Valespa 12 day advent calendar. It retails for $75 at Sephora. If you can grab it during the sale, that would be even great. But if you're a huge candle fan, I definitely recommend this. I have used all the candles, We've got some new faves. I also recommend getting the candle warmer if you are interested in prolonging the life of your candles. But I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review of the Valespa Advent Calendar. Let me know if you plan on picking this up. Let me know what your favorite candle scents are. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.